We'll talk about Oracle Fusion Applications update. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. Oracle Fusion Applications have been released since quite some time from Oracle and I hear these questions often in the ERP world. How is Oracle Fusion Applications doing so far and how does the future look like? In this session we will try to address these questions. I think the main reason behind these questions popping up in people's mind is that throughout 2012 Oracle Corporation has been quiet on Oracle Fusion applications. Most of the information I have presented here is based on the interview conducted by Constellation Research with the Vice President of Oracle's application product development. So as of now Oracle Fusion applications are being used by more than 400 customers. This is quite some number. Keep in mind that this is a modular application just like eBusiness Suite and SAP ERP. So that does not mean that all the modules are used by all these customers. A customer may be using few modules. If you compare this with the start of Salesforce.com, this is quite a higher number that was achieved by Salesforce in the beginning stages of their application. Now keep in mind that Oracle Corporation has a large customer base running other ERP and CRM applications that they own including Oracle eBusiness Suite, PeopleSoft, JD Edward, Siebel and others. So all these customers are potential customer for Oracle Fusion applications. So keep in mind Fusion applications is based on SOA architecture, service oriented architecture. So you can do a mix and match if you have five modules of Oracle eBusiness Suite running you can uh, do staged uh, migration towards Oracle Fusion application. You can just bring in one module from Oracle Fusion and run that with the other four modules and gradually you can move on to Oracle Fusion applications. About two-thirds of these 400 customers are on software as a service model. I've covered the details in another video on software as a service and platform as a service models both comes under the umbrella of cloud architecture. Also note that Oracle Fusion applications have been implemented internally by Oracle Corporation. They are using CRM functionality of Oracle Fusion as well as financials functionality and plus other modules. And that is very important when you're selling an enterprise level software that you use it internally as well. Now I'm going to talk about few Oracle Fusion implementations that have recently taken place. So Green Mountain Coffee has implemented Oracle Fusion Partner Relationship Management. This was a re-implementation. Acorn Paper has implemented Oracle Fusion Sales. Barcode Networks has implemented Oracle Fusion Talent Management and Oracle Fusion Compensation Management. They have decided to go cloud on this. Elizabeth Ardain has implemented Oracle Fusion Talent Management and Oracle Fusion Human Capital Management. Zillow has implemented Oracle Fusion Human Capital Management. Principal Financials implemented Talent Management, Compensation Management and Oracle Fusion Procurement. First they went to a cloud model and then they have it migrated to on-premise. So migration is possible. Some companies want to have data in their hand rather than on a cloud for various reasons. PGA implemented Oracle Fusion Financials General Ledger module. Shellpoint Partners implemented Oracle Fusion applications including Financials, Human Resource, Talent and Payroll. Capel Energy implemented Oracle Fusion Financials Subledger Accounting module. Red Robin implemented Oracle Fusion Financials group of modules. Although Oracle Corporation has been quiet since quite some time on Oracle Fusion applications but implementations are happening and looks like Oracle Corporation is focused on customers rather than press releases. Based on what Oracle's executives are saying the strategy of the company is not to create a hype. They are focused on creating credibility. They are focused on showing how it works and a lot is going on to meet this objective. So looks like this is round one where Oracle is creating examples of successful implementations. 
once this round finishes then round two will begin where Oracle will have stories to quote and round two customers can see success stories of round one and they will then start migrating to Oracle Fusion applications.